Mabuhay, Beta players! Welcome to another Beta Prime Unbox, Build, and Review. This time it is from the Bottleman line, BOT03, Gyokurok by Takara Tomi. Let's get started! Welcome back! Let's now take a look at the box. So over here, we have our Gyokurok. It is a control type bottleman. Up top, we see Gyokurok's emblem as well as its user. Looking at this side over here, there is an advert for the bottleman anime. So just scan the QR code and they'll take you to YouTube. And over here are just some steps for you to recycle bottles. So it is a pretty neat feature because they are also used for your ammunition, if it's not that obvious. So over here, there is an Eco Toy logo. So they are um, pushing for us to recycle, which is a very, very good cause and a pretty neat way of playing um, with plastic bottles. And over here on this side, there is an advert for the Nintendo Switch game, which also includes a limited edition Kolomaru. Um, it's Arena, some targets, and also a Switch game for you to download. And over here, uh, we also have adverts for BOT01 and BOT02, Kolomaru and Aqua Sports respectively, which we already have. And also an advert if you want to purchase the official ball caps. But of course, as what you can see here, they're also pushing for you to recycle plastic bottles. So you could also do that. And over here on this side is just a showcase of Yokorok. So over here, we could see its um, parts, its main body, its armor parts, ball caps, and its samurai swords for control. Without further ado, let's open the box. And here are the box contents. So first, we have our sticker sheet and instruction manual. Our two ball caps, one in olive and one in green. Pretty awesome. Next, we have the main body part, which is a Mountain Dew-like color. Pretty neat, although this is um, resembling a T, but awesome color nonetheless. And over here is the body parts and the hold parts of the bottle man. So let's open it up. Now that we have all the parts laid out, let's proceed to the build. So first, we'll take our base and then we'll take our hold parts and attach them like so. So they just slide in place. We'll put this aside and we'll take our trigger. So make sure it is facing in this direction. Then we'll take this small bit right here and attach it like so. We'll take our base and attach this. Make sure the spring is not in the way. Afterwards, we'll take this top piece right here and secure everything. There we go. Then we'll take this piece and secure it. Push it in. There we go. Then we'll take the back plate of the head part then there are pegs and holes over there. Just connect everything like so. Afterwards, you'll see a small bump over there. And then here, there is a small cut. Just make sure they are lined up. Then close it in. Next, we'll take our olive ball cap and screw it in place. And here is our Gyokorok body. 
Moving on, let's take the leg parts. You'll see a bump here. Just gonna attach it here like so. Flip it over, then clip it on. Next, we're gonna take the arm parts. So just take this and slide it in. Do the same for the other one. Next, we'll be attaching the sword. So just take one and just slide it in place over there. Flip it over. Do the same for the other one. There we go. And finally, for the headpiece, let's take these two parts, flip this over, attach this bit over here. It just sits there like so. Then we'll take this piece over here. Then we're just gonna slide everything together until these two bits over here connect. There we go. So here is the very awesome head part. Let's attach it to the bow man. So it's just gonna click in place. And here is Gilparok. And here is Gyokurok. Let's now take a look at the distinct features of this ball man. So first, let's take a look at its trigger. So the trigger pad has a curved tip right there, which allows you to have more control because the stopper over there allows your thumb to rest comfortably so that it won't move around. And looking at its shoulder parts over here and the sheath, they actually provide you more stability. As you can see, it touches the ground right there. And the shoulder parts are fairly comfortable to hold. So you can just place your fingers in right there and your middle fingers under the sheath so that you have more control when shooting the ball man. And over here on its head, there is a sight shield over there. You could see that through here so that you could actually aim. There you go. And looking at the front side over here, it has a very obvious feature, which is the swords that it has. Um, it does provide a level of um, accuracy because if you place your bottle cap in and then if you look at the site over there, you could actually um, have an idea on where the area it will be. But once you start priming the bottle cap, the swords here widen as you can see so that it isn't kind of helpful if you're going to hold it in. So it is gonna help you if you are doing fast shots like so. But if you'll be doing um, more slow and controlled shots, this won't be able to help you. So yeah, here are the features of this ball man. Let's now do some test shots. We'll be conducting a BSPV test to determine the power of Yokorok. We will be using the same bottle cap for measure. First shot. Second shot, third shot, fourth shot, fifth shot. Here are the five shots of Gyoko Rock. Latest reading was 20.76, followed by 16.95, 19.23, 18.45 and 15.11 receiving an average of 18.10 kilometers per hour and here is an accuracy test of Gyoko Rock
finally, we have the Crash Tower test of Gyoko Rock. And this concludes our video review of Bottleman BOT03 Gyokurok by Takara Tomi. For all things Beatamon and Bottleman, see you in the next video. And always remember, keep your Bottleman Beataprimed.